Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's time to do magic. Do 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 do. Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's time for a great test. Welcome to Magic TV with me and Grumpy Little Matt. Really, you should be the singer because you're the one. You're the professional singer. Yeah. I feel like I'm holding this shit show together. I feel like you should never sing again. You can mess up the trick now because no one else is watching. I was going to say, everyone's <laughs> just turned off. Everyone's turned off. Nobody's watching. What's the point? Well, you know what? I'm not used to turning people off because I'm so hot. If there was anyone left, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest with this, I'm amazed I'm still here. <laughs> Welcome to, back to another Craig test. Sometimes we do a Matt test, sometimes we do a Craig test. Uh, this is a Craig test. Matt has learned a trick. And he's going to perform it to me, and we're going to find out what we think. Now, this is a trick that you got at the Session Magic Convention, right? It is a trick I got at the Session Magic Convention. There wasn't a particularly big dealer hall. It was small but perfectly <laughs> formed. Um, yes, it was. But, but there's a few, there is a few gems in there. Yeah, the, uh, Magic Dream, the boys from Magic Dream were there, and obviously yeah. uh, Green Lemon were there. Yes, they were. And this is a new Green Lemon trick. It is indeed. The people that work... Uh, a green lemon, the people who own green lemon also or own um, Sven and Bosch. Mm. Yeah, whatever it is. And uh, are responsible for these mats. But uh, that's not what we're reviewing. We're not reviewing the mats. We're reviewing. Mats are amazing. amazing. I think we've re reviewed the mats before. We have, yes. Matt reviewed the mat. Um, what we have here is we have uh, a book called The Evolution of Logos. What's the trick called? Evolutionary. Evolutionary. By who is it by? Evolutionary by Mark Woods. World's most universal book test. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah, better keep that. <laughs> <laughs> Weird that they've put that on the back of the box. Where else are they going to put it? Well, on a little piece of paper. They can't put it on the thing. inside of the box. No, but right. what most people do is they put it on a little business card and shove that in the box. That's what every no. other magic company has done that I've ever seen. On the back of the box. Right. You're cheaping out. You could have printed a business card. They're not. They're saving on paper. Okay. Well, whatever. Even though they've produced a book. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Didn't seem to bother them when they made the book test, did they? No. Right. Uh, you've never done a book test before. No. Uh, he's obviously very new to mentalism. I know you watched the 13 Steps of Mentalism and you learned all about book tests, but now you're breaking your... This isn't your standard book test. Though. No, but you're, you're still breaking your book test for virginity. I'm quite excited about this moment. We get to yep. see it happen live on camera. I don't really know much about this trick. You don't know what it is? It's a book. Well, I mean, the book isn't really the trick. So, the trick is what you, the what you do with the book. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to say those five little words that everybody watching this wants to hear. Matt, you can go home. No. <laughs> Perform for me, Matty baby. Oh right. I see. Okay. Living hope. Um, okay. So this is basically. It's just you can get these from anywhere. They, ba they basically sell it to you, so you've got something to do with what they teach you how to do. But this, you can get these from anywhere. They, okay. it's, it's just, it, all it is, is like, it's called the evolution of logos. So you basically just, all of the logos throughout the years, and you get the all, you see? Yeah. So it's all the different logos, like, that one's Walt Disney, so you've got all the different variations of the Walt Disney logo. It's pretty cool, actually, when you look through it. And then all these are different logos, again, from the 1980s and stuff. And you've got, like, Nokia. So they started off That's like this. The one I remember. And then the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because you're old. But then it's, like, evolved now. And then you've got all the all these that were also around in the 1980s. Really interesting ones at the start. So you've got, like, Adidas. Okay, Adidas is, like, original logo and stuff. And then obviously it evolves into what it is today. But it's really interesting. The Ford one, they're not particularly imaginative. Ford badge has been pretty much the same throughout the entirety of history. Uh, but Dunkin' Donuts, that's another one. So that was their original. And then obviously they've gone to, well, well there's another one now, isn't it? Because they're just Dunkin'. They got rid of the donuts thing. Um, but yeah, and they give you a little bit of background on how it works. It's a really interesting book. Um, but they give you one of these so that you can use it to display the method they teach you for reading people's minds, basically. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you smell something, Michael? Do you smell something? Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, that's what I smell. What are you talking about? I smell bullshit. Oh, I want to prove it to you. Have a look through the book. Okay. 
Don't show me, obviously. <laughs> if you're not seeing a magic trick, go on. You can nip it down. <laughs> okay, got it. Just have a look through the book and just pick like, like a logo from the, the left hand side. Okay, got it. So you've got a, a bit a logo on the left hand side there. Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, and then you can see all the logos on the right hand side as well. Yes. All right. So what I need you to do is read out a few of the logos. Okay. But then. I'm going to tell you which one it is that you're looking at on the left hand side. So try not okay. to give anything away with the way that you're saying it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go for it. Sprite. Yeah. Red Bull. Okay. Philips. Okay. Lego. Okay. Seven Up. Okay. Ikea. I mean, you might as well stop. I already know it's Lego. It's Lego, right? It is Lego. Lego, yes. Did you, did you hear what you did? No. You said Sprite, Seven Up, Lego. And you kind of went down at the end of Lego, and that kind of gives it away as to what that one was. Is that so you were trying to hide it. I didn't realise that. Well, pick another one, try again. Don't show me the book. Got it. You've got one on here, yeah? On the left-hand yeah, yeah, side, yeah, 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 yeah. and then there's a whole bunch on the other side. Yes. Okay, read them out. I'm not even gonna look at you, so I can't tell which way you're looking. Pepsi? Yeah. Sprite? Yeah. Apple? Yeah. Subway? Yeah. Nintendo? Yeah. Aston Martin? I, I know it's Subway. Subway, right? Yes. Show me. Subway. By the way, I didn't know that Subway used to be Pete's Super Submarines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Pete's Subway, and then finally Subway. Yeah. Not only is it... Uh... It's an incredible magic trick, and you learn shit as you go along. Yeah. Brilliant, right? Yeah. You did it again, you did exactly the same thing. I told you what you did the first time, you just did it again. Wow. Subway. So try try something else and try to keep your voice the same all the way through. Don't show me, but try to keep your voice the same all the way through, okay? Got it. Ready? Yeah. I'm not gonna look at you so I can't tell which page which side of the page you're looking at. <clears throat> Superman. <laughs> yeah. <Shut up. laughs> McDonald's. Yeah. Walt Disney Pictures. Yeah. Harley Davidson. Yeah. Burger King. Yeah. Durex condoms. Okay, hold on, I can stop you there. It's Harley Davidson, right? Yeah. Yeah, you want to show everyone? So you can't mask it. It happens with everybody. You either go up at the start, down at the end, or you kind of elongate it a little bit, and you elongate it just that little middle bit of a Harley Davidson. But it's fine. You, I mean, everybody does it. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It just means that you're easily readable. <laughs> um, but it's good, right? Yeah. Uh, is, is that it? Uh, yeah, the only reason I ask is because... There's one I, more thing you can do. I see some numbers down there. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, okay, this is not something, yeah, obviously, we, we brought this with the thing. Um, and knowing the guys at Green Lemon like I do, they wouldn't have just arbitrarily put a colour grading uh, number there no. for no reason. If you pick one, I can tell you what the colour grading number is. And it's a six-digit number. So if you pick one, I can tell you what the number is. All right, bitch. Yeah. It's about to fucking go down. <laughs> You didn't, well, no, it is, because you didn't perform this because you're not 100% sure about this. So you're about to lose, motherfucker. Okay, no, that's too easy. How is it too easy? Yeah. It's a six-digit number. That's too easy. It's a random six-digit number. Do you know how many six-digit numbers there are? How many got, six it, digit got, numbers it, are got it, got it, got it. 900 and... What, huh? How many six-digit numbers? Did he ask how many... Did he really ask how... Whoa. Yeah, how many six-digit numbers are there? Let's carry on. How many six-digit numbers are there? No, we'll carry on. You're embarrassing me and you're embarrassing Michael. And Why am I? Magic TV. I have a colour. How many six digit numbers I are have there? a colour. Well, obviously, it would be from 100,000 yeah. to 999,999. So it's 899,999. Is that yes. how many six digit? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's 899,999 six digit numbers. Mass isn't your strong point, is it? You were stalling, so you could work that no, out. No, I didn't. I thought that I was stalling <laughs> because I thought it was fucking obvious. Right, come on, because we've got to go. We've got shit to do. What do you want me to do? Uh, well, you can just tell me what the logo is. Oh, guess it. Oh, right, go for it. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. NASA. Yeah. Ford. Yeah. Pepsi Cola. Yeah. HP Sauce. Oh, yeah. no, not HP Sauce, HP. Um, As in Hewlett Packard. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, so um, the number is two, one, three, three. Two one three three one three. That's right. Is two, that right? Two one three three one three. Two one three three one three. 
and they are all different as well. They're all completely different. Ah, that's very good. It's very good. Remember I mean, that. I mean, it's not fooled me. I uh, it. it remind. No, you haven't. You've got a memory like a fucking sip. Um, <laughs> if I can do that, anyone can do it. First of all, this is very similar to John Morton's Baby book. Yes. There's similarities here. Yes. Um, but very, very different. I mean, you've got a completely different feel to it because uh, I, I like the look of the book. It looks like it's an actual book. The book, book looks like it's an actual They've book. They've even, like, the author and stuff. L.M. Green. Not a real author. But it okay. looks like one. That's great. Uh, lemon Green. L.M. Green. That's good. Um, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, this is up your street. I love it. Because you can do your little psycho babble bullshit about, mm -hmm. oh, you, you stood on your left leg and you looked slightly into the wind as you were saying it. That tells me that it was Dunkin' Donuts or whatever it is. You can, you can do your, your, your wanky bollocks to, like, you know. My wanky bollocks that works. Yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it's still wanky bollocks. So you can do your wanky bollocks with, you know, this, this just fits right in there. This is the third pillar. You have, no it is, you have the fucking dice, yeah. you have the, the Stebbins deck, now you have the evolution of logos right yeah. there in the middle. Because this I'm reading, and, and, people's and, voices and, and, and tone all and All three stuff, of those yeah. pillars hold up, evoke. Mm. Sorry, just saying. Um, but yeah, is, so it's kind of like, the ne like, I can very, very like, easily I know the method thing. behind this. Mm -hmm. This is a great method. This works. 100%. Do you know how I get the numbers? No. He doesn't know! Hey. Yay! He doesn't know but something! I could figure it out. I mean, obviously, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the exact method, but obviously, it's going to be something to do with the letters that make up the name of the logo. Because the only information that you have is the name of the logo. If you really want me to try and work it out, I could do. Um, but we'd be here a little while, but I would do. But that is something, for the record, that he doesn't know. No, I don't know exactly how you do it, but it's going to be based... I am right. It's going to be based on the name of the uh, product. Not and it's going to be something specifically <laughs> to do with the letters. Probably to do with the way that each individual letter looks or something to do with that. I'm um, not telling you. No, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Because you haven't memorised 100 colour codes or whatever it is. So no, it has I have not. To, yeah, so it has to be that. Um, yes, it is, because then that would be four foot. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know how that's done. But it's very clever. Um, it's good. I like it. I really like it. I really like What I like about this is it looks like something that you would... It, it passes the test of this looks like a thing. Yeah, you could have easily bought that from anywhere. Yeah. And, and 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 that's the problem sometimes with magic props. You say it's something and it's not. It clearly isn't. It clearly isn't. Yeah. This clearly looks like you could have bought I mean, it. They've from put a lot a of effort show. into making it look like it's a real thing. And they've even, like I said, they've done it's not just a book of logos. They've got like a little bit of information about each decade and the logos of that particular decade and that follows all the way through. So every time you've got I don't want to bend the pages. Why am I turning the pages of a book like that? Um, but each one, so the 1960s, a little bit about the 1960s and a particular logo from the 60s and stuff. So it's a genuine, it, that could very well be an actual, an act. they could sell that as a book about this exact thing. Because it does exactly what it's supposed to do as a book. It's very good. It's very, very good. I yeah. really like this. Uh, I also like the size of it. This would fit into a jacket pocket. Yeah. So you can literally have it in a jacket pocket and it take up very little space. You can bring it out and you're not going to... You Yeah, it's like the baby book. I did the baby book for a long time. I love it. And I think this is different to the baby book in, the, in that I think that you could take this out in a corporate event. Yeah. And it wouldn't be questioned. This would be great for a trade show magician as well. And like I say, it really lends itself to your special, unique brand of wanky bollocks. I yeah. love it. And it's robust. It's sturdy. Like, it's really, really thick. Like, yep, it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. It's not going to fall apart really easily. It's really well made. Everything's super high quality. It's yeah, they've done a really, really good job of it. Really Green good. Lemon have bought a lot of stuff out recently, and all of it's been really good. This is the best one I've seen them bring out. I had a mix to like everything that was on their stand because no. didn't you kill Santa Claus? I did kill Santa Claus. I had to make the decision to brutally murder Santa Claus to save the Easter Bunny. It was quite a traumatic experience, to be honest. 
Yeah. I don't but yeah, this is really good. So what would you give it? 100%. Have you watched the tutorial? Yeah. Was it good? Fucking 20 minutes long. <coughs> 20 minutes long. What are you doing? <coughs> Sven, Green Lemon, what are you doing? A 20 minute tutorial. Everyone knows your average tutorial, if you want a really good product, should be at least five hours. That's your bare minimum. Absolutely unnecessary. 20 minutes, bang, done. There's also an extra video on there at the end, which is live performance and an introduction video, and then an additional video that teaches you individually about each page of the book, which isn't necessary because you learn it in the 20 minute tutorial. I didn't even watch that bit. Um, 20 minutes. Done. Don't bend my book. So, what are you giving it? 100%. 100%. 100% from Matt. I really like it. You could it. do it close up very, very, very easily. You could do it on a stage if you wanted to. You could do it singly for one person. You could do it at a corporate event for 10 people. You could do it's it around tables. That, you could also, do it standing. Un unlike a lot of tricks, it not only is able to be repeated, but it's more impressive the more you repeat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it'll be somebody will be like, okay, let me have a go. I bet I can get you, especially if you use the voice thing. Yeah. And they'll be like, right, okay, I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to do it. And yeah, then yeah. the colour code thing just gives you a nice finale. It gives you a nice ending to it to round the whole thing off. Yeah. I haven't figured out how to work the colour code into what I would do yet because I'm not a mind reader, so I wouldn't be able to read it, but I could, yeah, there'll be a way of doing it. Um, but I just like the book in just the whole. You know what I would do? I would do this if very it's quick because we've really got. Yeah. Go. What I would do is I'd say, uh, so you've done it the last time you got Dunkin' Donuts, for example. You say now there's a color code. Do you see the color code? And they go yeah. And you go okay. What I want you to do is I want you to just flick the pages towards me, and I'm going to try and do something crazy here. Okay. Now don't let me see it, but open back up to Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm going to see if I can slow things down in my mind and take a snapshot of the second that I saw the Dunkin' Donuts page, and I'm gonna try and get the color code. I think that'd be quite a cool way of doing it because it's realistically possible, Yeah. but it also seems quite well, very mental. unlikely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, cool. really, really like that. Uh, I'm getting a bit 100% as well. Thank you once again for joining us on the Matt Test. Me and Matt have to go now, but yeah. what time is it? It's 5-2, we've got to go. We've got to go. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm not going to have this camera switched off, though, until you do a wrap-up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, Matt. Wrap it up, Bellside will sing. You sing, I'm going to leave. No, no, Thanks, no, wrap everyone. it up. Wrap it up, just say... Look, let, let me teach you. Thanks very much for watching us right here on Magic TV. My name's Craig, this is Matt. We'll be back again next week with another Matt test. Don't forget that we'll be back on Thursday with the Matt documentary. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Is that not the embodiment of Tony Blackburn? Do, do, do it in your own style, but that's basically... I'm not doing a Tony Blackburn. So do it in your own style. So, yeah. Uh... No! <laughs> not just do that. That's like, my own do style. it in your own style like this. All right. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching. See you again on Thursday if you can be bothered turning up. If I'm here, I might be asleep. I'm tired. Craig never lets me do anything other than work. Hate my life. Can't wait to Blackpool. It's I fucking hate awesome. My life. I, I am looking forward to Blackpool. It's fucking awesome. Craig makes me work too hard. I do work too hard. I want hard. a day off. I am having a day I'm off. looking forward to going to Snowdonia. I am indeed. On oh, Friday. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Just do that. Make it your own little thing. Bye. I'm looking forward to going to Snowdonia and riding my motorbike this weekend. Bye. Just for fuck's sake. <laughs>